Hello, YouTube. Welcome to this week's edition of Cheers for Beers, the weekly craft beer review segment. And today we are going to feature something from very, very far away. Uh, I was recently uh, visiting some friends up in Canada. We went in Ontario in a little town called Maxville, in which they took me to a little craft beer store, and we found some Scottish brewed beers from Glasgow and Edinburgh's own Innes and Gun, which is considered to be one of the top brewers in that particular region of the world. And one of the ones I picked up is called Original, and it's their flagship uh, beer that they are known for. It is a classic little Scottish ale that is aged for 77 days at least in oak barrels, which uh, is going to make for a nice, interesting flavor on its own. But also intriguing is that it's listed as having some flavors that include vanilla and toffee. I've had vanilla porters before. I know I like that flavor, but this is the first time I will have had anything with toffee listed as a flavor. So I'm expecting something pretty sweet, actually. Uh, it is... 6.6 .6 alcohol by volume with an 18 IBU, and its average rating on Untapped runs at about 3.59, so mostly positive. Let's dig into this. It's got a lot of a head on it. It's not as dark as I thought it would be. It's more of an amber. Looks very good, though. Mmm. You can smell the toffee. I don't necessarily smell the vanilla. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, but you can definitely get the aromas of the toffee that they use to brew this. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. That's very strong. I can taste the toffee. I don't, again, I didn't smell as much vanilla, and I'm definitely not getting a ton of vanilla flavor out of that. Um, it's, it's a little bitter. Maybe a little too bitter for what I was expecting. It's not as sweet as I was expecting. Um, I don't love that one. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give that one... I'm going to go right down the middle on that one. Yeah, yeah. About a 2.5 out of 5 because... It's it's not awful. It's It's just a little too bitter and I'm not quite getting the exact flavors that I was advertised or promised in this one. Um, I do have a couple more to try from this particular brewery in the coming weeks, so we'll uh, see what happens. Uh, but as for now, uh, I'm going to sign off. And uh, have you ever had anything from this brewery? If you have, comment below. And if, as always, if you liked what you saw here and are looking forward to more beer reviews, movie reviews, or just general sports topics of the day, click to subscribe. And until next time, cheers.